is Chanel and this is Gravy. He is a toy poodle mixed teacup poodle and he is my dog. Um, the first day I ever met Gravy was at Passeri's Pet Farm. Um, my relationship with Gravy is... I mean he listens to me but he listens to Kelvin a lot more than he listens to me. Every single time I'm like snacking or whatever, I will like maybe give him a bit. Yeah, so every single time I'm like snacking or something, Gravy would run all the way and sit next to me and like stare at me like the puppy dog eyes. Poodles are very loving and they are very tame and they are very manja. I don't know if it's just him but he's super manja and he knows how to like crawl into like little nooks of your body to like lie down and like cuddle. So they are like perfect dogs to cuddle with. When he was younger, when I just bought him, the pet shop actually told me to buy like um, supplements, so like calcium, um, iron pills and stuff, and I'll mix it with his food. But now that he's grown up, like he's already two years now, so now that he's a lot bigger, we don't really have to give him that much um, supplements anymore. He's, I take care of his health by making sure that I bring him for walks every day. And like by walks, I don't mean just like walks. I don't usually leash him because he's actually very obedient. He like walks right next to my feet when I bring him for walks and like I'll tell him to run and he'll run he'll sprint really fast and I ask him to come back and he'll sprint back really fast so like that's like his form of exercise their eyes, their ears and all these are very important because they have very long fur so I have to constantly clean um, whatever that is coming out of his eyes and his ears his ears need to be dry at all times like when I shower him I have to make sure that his ears don't get wet and if it gets wet I have to make sure that it, like I clean it dry yeah mm. what's your advice? My advice would be to be prepared for the work that you have to do to maintain your dog. You have to brush him without fail every day. And after a while, maybe in the beginning when you get a dog, you'll be really excited and you'll like keep brushing him. And you'll be like, oh my god, he's so cute and so fluffy. But like as time goes by, you'll get really, really like bored of it. And you'll be like, oh my god, do I have to brush his fur? And then you'll forget to brush his fur. And then there'll be tangles and then there's problems. Because that happened to me. So yeah. I'm going to show you guys some of Gravy's like clothes. Come here, come here, Gravy. Come. Can you see like where you put it? Where's your little fish? Oh, you! There you are! <laughs> okay, paw. So, one of the funny stories that I have about Gravy is um, there was once because he mostly, now he mostly stays with Kelvin. And recently when I went over, um, one of Gravy's new punishments is to actually um, put his two paws against the wall and he's just standing there with his head like staring at us and he can't move. So he has to stay there whenever he pees out of his potty or if he does anything wrong, right, we make him stand against the wall, right? And he just really, he stands there and he like looks at us with like beady eyes and like he'll just be waiting for his like command to stop. So that's like really funny. <laughs> Gravy, sit. Okay. High five? Yes. High five? Yes. Good boy. Paw? Good boy. The other paw? Good boy. Don't lie. Roll over. Yay! Good boy. Hey. Gravy. 